2015. Uh, second reading and consideration of ordinance number 2009-2205 entitled an ordinance setting new rates for sanitary sewer. Any discussion, questions? You know, I'll, I'll just make the mention you know, that uh, you know, by splitting it between the, uh, the property taxes and, and the user rates, uh, the individuals that are not on the uh, sewer are in effect paying up you know, property taxes and, and subsidizing it. Uh, and I realize that that's just part of the inequality of that, but just wanted to make that point that, that those folks that are not uh, connected to it, uh, you know, are, are being you know, charged <coughs> for a service that they're not utilizing. But I look at it as part of the infrastructure and just make that as a note of comment. Any other discussion? I call for a motion and a second to approve the second reading. So moved. Second. Second. Call for a vote. Councilman Johnston? Yes. Rennie? Yes. Redberg? Yes. Hampton? Yes. Motion carried. Item B, discussion in South Fifth Street, private water line. In your packets, you had a letter concerning that. Um, anyone here want to speak to that this evening? Is there any discussion or questions? Or? One comment that I would like to make. I think that the wording as far as the uh, uh, meters, there's the main meter that, that measures the water coming in, and then there are the meters of each one of the terminal residences. And I would just hope that the wording's clear in the final uh, version that the individual parties uh, will be responsible for all the water coming through the main meter and not just the water at the terminal ends. I think that's kind of the understanding, but I just want the wording to, to specify that it's the total usage that, that will be that they'll be responsible for. And what Mr. Reason? Dowling, did you want to speak to this? We're just here to answer any questions you might have for the content of but I'd like Bill to restate that. Okay, okay like with with the um, yeah okay like with the current fifth street water uh, there was a period of time where the users, uh, you know, it's a, it's a poor line to begin with, and I'm not talking about this proposed line, I'm talking about the existing fifth, <coughs> South Fifth Street water line, uh, that the users were charged just the water that came through their terminal meters, and that there were periodically breaks in that pipe, but they weren't charged for any of the loss of water uh, because they were charged just simply for the uh, reading at their final meter. Then the a main meter was put in and it was realized that there was a lot of water being lost through leakage and without them being charged for you know the total usage there's no incentive whatsoever for them to repair the line so if we have the uh, cost to be established at the main meter you know and if we have a good line certainly the, the two should agree but in the event that there's a breakage and whatever uh, I think that, you know this you know the citizens of SAC and our water plant you know, should be reimbursed for, you know, loss of water in that event. So if we can establish the total amount at the prime, at the main meter coming into the system, and then proportionally divided between the users, you know, and there will be a, a difference between, of course, the uh, city users versus the outside the city limit unit users. I think it's uh, 1.5 factor versus 1, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so that it would be, would be, you know, a, a portion properly. I, am I clear on that? Yes. Is that is that is that kind of what you were thinking, too, Jim? Yep. Okay. That's kind of. I think that's the way it reads. Is it? Well, I, I would say that uh, that this has been handed to the city attorney, but we have not received any comment at the, as of this meeting this evening on the on the show of his comments to this agreement. Um, and the reason why I said that is this agreement that we were handed was actually handed to us by the property owners. Um, so this was not developed by our city attorney. 
I am simply just waiting to hear back from him if he has any issues. <coughs> and if he does have any issues, I'll let you know, uh, that, that you and the parties know as soon as possible. So any changes that he might suggest can at least be discussed. Is it us that's requiring them to put a second meter in each house, or do they want to do it on their own? Of 15 people. Well, my only comment to that would be um, it, we would have to have a different way of identifying um, what water is actually staying inside of city limits and what water is going outside of city limits um, if we could not distinguish uh, where the usage was going. Even though we'd be charging at the main meter, we would have no way of distinguishing what's actually going outside of city limits. You want to meet for a little bit of extra water, it might go out of city limits. Right, financially, time you read them and bill them and all that. It, I think it's redundant to have the second meter, have the master meter, and redundant. My opinion. I think it would be to their benefit to have a meter at their place so they would know there's a leak. Otherwise, they could be used. That's what I was asking if it's their idea or cities. I would suggest that because there would be a leak, a leak there and they would never know. Well, don't the, the private lines, the current private lines now have meters at all mm -hmm. homes? So this would be no different than that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Was there any other discussion? What is stated in there as far as Who's paying for the meters? Did you guys ever come up with that? No, we're Our still homeowners paying for it? No, I'm still discussing that. Oh, you're still, <coughs> still in discussion? Okay. Yes. Okay. There has been... Like to sure, that? sure. There has been some negotiation as far as... Um, and some interest on both sides from the perspective of possibly um, the main meter being something that the city might be interested in providing and a fire hydrant to that area to provide fire support on the other edge of town. Um, there's also been discussion, and this one's a little bit more subjective. Depending on which city employee I talk to, I get a little bit different of an answer, but backflow regulators are, um, have been something else that's been discussed as well. Um, uh, of course, there, from what I understand, and Jim, maybe you can talk about this a little bit clearer than I can, is that typically we would mandate those in times when there is uh, livestock involved. At the, uh, at the location. It'd be cost prohibitive to put a six inch back to preventer on a six inch line. So if you're feeding hogs or cattle or whatever, I would suggest just putting it on the line that feeds um, that portion. It's a lot cheaper. So you could have more than one back flow preventer on that six inch main? Yeah. You could have well, one? I would have it on your private line. Like That's what I mean. You could have one at every residence yes, if, it was, yes. if there was livestock yes. around. Yes. Still confused on that double meter. Which meter are we going to charge them off of the master meter? We would have to have. No, they can't. They can't charge off the master meter. It, 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 it was. Uh, it was, it was our understanding that the master meter was just kind of a, a second safety, a, you know, a, a way to double check everything's getting billed correctly, there's no water being lost. Because otherwise, how would you uh, decide who used how much water on That's why I'm saying you, should, you have to have a, a meter at your residence. Right. Oh, yeah. And the bill <coughs> should be set to a master meter then. Okay. It, if you have a master meter there, you know how much went through that meter. So if there is a break between that meter and any place on that line after that meter, we will know it by what their readings are compared to what our master rating is. See, from the first house, Jim, from the end of the line, there's going to be 7,000 feet of water line before the first house gets broken in between there. Right. Yeah, the in between. That's the only way we'll be able to tell. Yeah. And if we build off the master meter, <coughs> it's basically our protection. Right. Right. Well, depending on how you build, there's two ways. Right now, the line that feeds out to the Lake Tree Farm, it's built from at the master meter. They are responsible to collect the money from them.